everybody, Double J101 back again with another toy review, and today we are going to take a look at Power of the Primes, Prime Master Micronus. Take a quick little look at the packaging. We see Micronus head right here. We see his decoy armor in the box. On the back side, we see Micronus's head, That what it would look like if you were to make it into a head. We also see Micronus and how he interacts with his decoy armor. As well, as you see, the decoy armor's name is Cloudburst, which is the pretender from G1 that everybody would know instead of Micronus. But that's about it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get him open and see how cool he really is. And here we have Micronus and Cloudburst out of the box and into their robot mode. So before we get into the figure himself, and the head that falls over. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at what else came in the packaging. So here we have Micronus's instructions of how he interacts with his decoy armor and how you form him into a gun to go with, you know, whatever you want it to go with, Voyager's Deluxe Leader Class, and so on and so forth. So on to the figure. We have Micronus right here, which is an okay figure. Not a whole lot of detail with the coloring and whatnot on the front here, but once you turn him into the head mode, or Prime Master mode, his face is a lot nicer. Some pretty good coloring there, all in all. I do like the green on red. It's pretty nice. Now on to Cloudburst, which is the part that I look forward to the most. It is the decoy armor, and boy, oh boy, he has good detailing on him. The red, the blue, except for that you don't really see a face. I assume the addition of Micronus inside will actually add the face on there, which is an interesting touch, but overall not too bad for a decoy armor. Now for how these two interact together, you can take Cloudburst, the decoy armor, open him up as so, and add Micronus inside, close it up, and now you can almost see a face in there. It's just red. It doesn't have any eyes. But that is how these two interact. And if you were to have any of the other Prime Masters or Titans Return Titan Masters, you can interact them in any sort of way. You just swap out the Prime Master that is currently associated with Cloudburst or any of the other figures and swap in the other. Now on to the other feature, of course, that Cloudburst is. He is a weapon. So you just bring down that piece right there bring down the handle and there you go and like I said before you can interact this and there you go and like I said before you can add this to a Voyager a deluxe figure or a leader class to make it a weapon of any sort if that was what you pleased but otherwise I will just keep him like so I think he looks better this way also what you can do is disconnect this back piece Take his hand and attach the gun. And he can have a massive two-barrel weapon, which isn't too bad as well. This is an option as well, and it, but it's really up to you how you want to display your toy. All in all, I would say I like my Cronus. He's pretty decent. I do like Cloudburst more as a feature of this figure. I will display him like this, just like I do with Skullgrin and Metal Hawk. But overall, for a being a $4.99 figure, like I said before, I think it's worth the price. Thank you again for watching my videos. Go ahead, like, subscribe if you feel so inclined, and I will talk to you next time. Thank you.